Okay, this is a very quick talk through for year five on how they can add themselves to a class in Scratch. If you're already in a Scratch class, and I've done that with you in class, then please don't do this, otherwise you'll find yourselves enrolled in two classes. Within the Microsoft Teams section that we're in at the moment, you'll see we're in the year five bit. And within the general posts at the moment, you can see one of the um, posts here is inviting 5KC to join this Scratch class. Now I'm gonna click on this, but the same thread would work for any other class. You just need to find the right link or email your teacher and ask them to send it to you again. So I'm gonna click on here. And what you'll see, first of all, is it should come up with um, the class name in the middle. Now, my connection's a bit slow today, so it might be a bit delayed. And Dovu09 is me. So as long as you're seeing that, everything's fine. 2025 KC class, I'm going to press Get Started. Now, I'm going to go right through this, and I'm not going to hide anything. And then what's going to happen afterwards is I'll remove this account. First thing it says to do is create a username. Now, the easiest option here would be to create your own name. The problem is that the school setup is um, like this. It's James.Dyson, but Scratch don't accept dots. So if I was going to do this, I would probably do James Dyson. Or if I was in one of the year groups, I might do James Dyson 2027. Okay. If you want to use a different username, that's absolutely fine. But there's two things you need to do. First of all, it needs to be identifiable as you. If you call yourself something like Crazy Cat, I'm not going to know who's doing the work. And the second thing is it needs to be something you can remember. Once you've created it, you can create your own password. Obviously, I've... Uh, let's try that one. If you find it's already been taken, you might have to try another one. Okay. So I'm going to create a password there. I'm not going to click on show password because it will show you what that password was. And I'm going to press next step. Now at this point, it asks for your birthday. So now you find out how truly, truly old I am. Okay. There's three options for gender. You're either male, female, or you can specify a different one. So I'm a male, so I'm going to put that in. And the country doesn't really matter. I would suggest everybody uses China because that's where we live. So I'm going to choose China. And then we'll press next step. And you can see I'm now set up. So if I click on go to class, this should take me into the, my Scratch class. And you can see at the top of here, if I click down, I can see my class. And at the moment in 5KC, there are about five people who are already set up here. And there's a project here, that, and we'll look at this in a second. Now, the next thing to remember is how we get on here next time. So the link is only to set it up. That's not how we get to Scratch. That's only how we set the account. So next time, I can either go onto my Teams page here, and at the top here, I can click on here, and I can click on Scratch. and we can wait for it to load again. Now this will load Scratch within Teams. That's nice and neat, but it doesn't actually give you an awful lot of space to work. So we'll just let this load for a second just to show you. But you'll see the whole of the Scratch page will appear here. And when it does, in the top right hand corner here is the place where we log in. To wait for it to load up. Okay, this is still uh, not loading, but not to worry. Normally it would appear here, but I wouldn't recommend you using it in this space anyway because it's quite a confined space. So the Scratch link is useful here. But then it says here, if your site isn't loading correctly, click here. So if we click on here, it gives you an option. It gives you an option to either reload the tab or go to the site. So if we click on the site, we're now on the Scratch website. Um, and we can now log in here. Obviously, if we don't want to go onto Teams at all, if we're just logging in at home and we've already set up our username and password, then we can just type the, the web address. It's just scratch.mit.edu, and that will take you straight onto the Scratch website. Then we'll click on Sign In, and it's the username and password we created. So in my case, this was James Dyson 2029 because my other one had been taken. And I press Sign In. Okay, and we wait for this to load. Again, I can see my class and my stuff here. I can see a profile here. 
And to actually start creating on Scratch, what we want to do is go to here, which is the Create one, and then the Scratch page will load up. One of the really nice things with working on Scratch Online is it will save our work as we go and we can access it on other machines. The slight downside is it will be affected by the internet connection in your house or where you are at the moment. So you can see at the moment mine's a little bit slow, so I'm going to have to wait a little bit while it loads up. When it does load up, it will look exactly the same as Scratch 3 that we've been using at school. There we go, creating the project. And we can start in the top left hand corner when it appears by giving it a name and then we can start to experiment around with Scratch. In the next couple of videos um, what I'll do is I'll show you how to complete a project but for now the main thing is name goes in here, it will save automatically as we go on so if I just call this test for now okay and if I start to move some of these blocks around obviously I'll need to put an event block in here so something happens you'll see at the top right hand corner it is either says save now or after a few seconds that will change and it will say saved if i want to hurry it up i can just click on it and that project's now saved as test okay so it's a very brief introduction on how to set yourself up in a class and how to get on okay i'll stop the video now and in the next video i'll show you how you can complete um, a couple of challenges